also, um, yeah, I mean, there was a period where I thought I wanted to be a voice actor, but I just got too much shit to do to even get started. Alright, I got so many fucking projects I want to work on, that I don't even have time to, like, even consider doing voice acting until I'm doing my own projects with it. No. I got homework to do, I got fucking... God, I have a list of projects I want to work on. Oh, Iggy's back. Never mind. Oh, yeah. I got a list of projects, too. D believe me, it doesn't end. Well, like, I can't start on any of them until about October when I'm done really? school. Really? Oh, yeah. Because I have just got so much schoolwork that it's not even an option to even consider uh, doing something else yet. Yeah, no, I feel that. Um, Ooh, I'm gonna liberate this city before I take on that mission. The thing is, the main, like, uh... What's the word? Hurdle. The uh, main hurdle to something like voiceover is less... I think time investment, because really, it takes, like, the least time of any kind of production doing audio. Like, if you make music, it will take a lot longer, because there's a lot more factors to it, but with just voiceover, it actually shouldn't take that long. The main thing is just act literal financial investment. Just like actually getting the equipment it is pretty prohibitive. And th it is, you can get it for pretty cheap, like everything you need, but still, you're gonna be sinking at least 100 to 150 just for a really basic amateur rig. You think he likes to take it up the ass, maybe? I think you'll make him like it. He ripped the pieces off. Oh, now rest in peace. To go to pieces. Rest in pieces. You're tearing me apart. Pieces. <laughs> nice. Oh god. What was it we were playing last night where we just started laughing like fucking idiots at like 3 in the morning? Was it Bro Force? It was Bro Force. God damn. Was that the Nabada? The Dumb Nabada. Uh, Arnold, what's your favorite large sea creature that you can buy in, uh, tin cans? The, oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, or, or, sometimes they're called a swordfish? Oh, you mean the, the marlin <laughs> <laughs> All units on alert. Uh, what, do you, do you like tuna at all? Uh, or, uh... I, I enjoy some fish, mostly the mahi-mahi. <laughs> Uh, what's that bottom feeding fish that's tilapia? Is that the one? Uh, you mean a tilapia, yeah. <laughs> Come on, don't snap. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. They snitch. Come on. This little Come on. piece. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness, they are making out with the flames of you love. There we go. That's how we do. That's how we do. Did, uh, Corey ever show you the video I had done? Uh, you've seen Game Grumps, right? Yeah. Did Corey ever show you the song I did for that? No. Kind of buzzed and it's all because this is how we do it. <laughs> That's a this is how we do it. it was, I, I, I had like isolated a specific clip of them going, do it. And nice. replaying that over and over. <sighs> What the hell's going on there? The worst part is that was supposed to be such a dramatic moment of him finally giving into the dark side, and it's just so fucking silly. Should God. I do it? Do it. <laughs> the prequels were a mistake. Uh, excuse me, they're my favorite movies. And I will thank you the worst part is they're the ones I grew up with. I didn't see the original Star Wars until way after I'd already seen all of the prequels. So my dad. Because the first one I ever saw in theaters was Phantom Menace. My dad knew I was not a fan of Star Wars, mm -hmm. which upset him because he was. Sure. He wanted to be able to share with me this thing he loved. So the prequels come out. And he's like, this is it. This is what will get my son interested in Star Wars. So he takes me to see Phantom Menace day one in the theaters. Right. And he's so excited. And keep in mind, my family was not the go see movies in the new theater. We went to the cheap second run theater across Oh there. yeah, the one where you get like it's Seeing for three dollars. Five months off, old, and yeah, it's yeah. just about to go on to DVD the next day. No, VHS. This was the oh thing. boy, the the, the oh. olden times when everything was on cassette tape. 
Do you know who uh, developed space technology? Uh, who's that? The Nazis. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, I want to say it was Gibson. Uh, like the guy. It was. Like know, William right Gibson? Here. No, Les Paul. A friend oh, okay. Les Paul. Sure. Uh, found this technology in a Nazi bunker and fucking said, uh, I'm listening to this my buddy, he's a guitar player back in the United States. Right. And fucking sent it back. And he's, like, looking at this shit, like, they're hoping he can figure out how to use it. Right. And so he, like, fucking sits down with it and creates reel-to-reel -reel recording. Wow. Like, it had never been done before. Like, yeah, American and, like, a had, lot of early computing so used cassette for data uh, data uh, storage. So pre-World War II, we don't have a lot of audio from that era, because unless it was film, you didn't have it. Like, it wasn't saved. Right. Uh, so records were recorded straight to vinyl uh, by having the band in the room, one fucking take... Recording yep. the album. Single track recording. And there was no way you couldn't do second takes. If you fucked up, that vinyl was garbage. Yeah, you had to start over. And so... Cassette was the first rewritable data technology. Yeah. And it had never been done before. Except for the Nazis. Oh, yeah. Now time to wreak havoc. Yeah, it's just so crazy. There's this guy on YouTube who I really like, uh, the 8-bit guy. I th be way more specific. Th that's literally what he, what his name is, is the 8-bit guy. He's a guy from Texas, and basically, um, he does a lot of different stuff, but his bigger stuff is, basically, he just explains how old computing stuff works in terms of video games, like how old game graphics worked, or how old, like sound worked or like how cassette drives work like they used on the Commodore 64 back when you would just use like an audio cassette tape like it was a flash drive because that's all really cassette tapes are is like they're holding data and the data they're holding in most cases is music data and the cassette player is able to convert that back into an audio signal but like you can do it with any kind of data. And it's just really cool to listen to how, like, that or, like, floppy drives work in the way he describes them. And just, like, explaining exactly how it was developed and exactly how it would function. And it, he does it in such an accessible way. It's really great. Like, if you want to know stuff about older computing, that's the place to go is the 8-bit guy. And then if you like s seeing really satisfying videos of old, uh, like, consumer-grade, like, musical keyboards being restored from like just garbage condition back to full working condition check out his other channel 8-bit keys where he does that he just completely like restores them and then like makes a song with them and it's really satisfying to watch them go from just like packed full of, like cat hair and just nasty yellowed sticky keys to being just like a brand new off the shelf looking keyboard so um I do a lot of well, you've seen Crazy Russian Hacker. Yes. Uh, he has a knockoff uh -huh. called American Hacker. Oh, boy. Who's an actual Russian. Okay. Um, and God, I, I both love and hate the guy. Like, sure. Like, he's great when he does his, like, how-tos of how to actually do hacks of things. Okay. So, like, uh, he'll show you how to... Uh, like, take apart an old toy and make it into something cool. Like, um, wow, y'all just ran me over like a fucking alt-right fucking Charleston. Topical. You know what? Fuck y'all's man. Fuck y'all couch. Fuck y'all's spumoni looking motherfucking van. So, um, do you know Spumoni? <laughs> God, that's a fucking dated ass reference, and none of you kids are gonna catch it. I honestly don't know what you're talking about, but do it's simple. Do you know Spumoni? Do you know Spumoni? Nope. If come in contact with? Uh, Hey Arnold. Really? Yeah. 
It was Grandpa's favorite uh, thing to do, for mine. Okay, yeah. I, d I don't remember that part of Hey Arnold. I watched quite a it bit of it. one episode or so that I remember it from. Uh -huh. Dude, did you know I got to see Hey Arnold uh, before anyone else? Really? Like, not anyone else, but like... Before, before anyone else in the public. Right? Okay. Before the major public, yeah. Yeah. Because I won tickets oh. to go to a, an amusement park in North Carolina owned by Paramount. Sure. Called Carowinds. And uh, I had won the tickets to go see... Uh, what was that Michelle Trachenberg spy movie? Oh, fuck. Um, Harriet the Spy. Yes. God, I fucking love Michelle Trachenberg. I thought she was... I, I thought the sun shone out full of ass as a kid. Mm. I had the... Because of Pete and Pete, I mean, she was just the shit, man. Oh, God, Pete and Pete was great. I fucking love it. <laughs> Good. Good. This is what was falling to the Buddy, did you just see what happened? Do you think you're gonna win this? Yeah, like, what did, What could you have hoped was gonna occur here? Yeah. Like, your buddy's up there burning. Oh, I should probably go ahead and use the flag. Probably, yeah. But, so, uh, so, Michelle Trachtenberg. So, we went to see, we won tickets. They had a movie theater at the amusement park for uh -huh. Paramount Movies. Sure. So, we went to see Harriet the Spy. Nice. And before Harriet the Spy came on in that Paramount Theater, you got a sneak peek at the very first episode of Hey Arnold. Ooh. Several months before it hit the air. Dude. So I hated Hey Arnold before you did. <laughs> or before everyone else loved it. Like, I was hating Hey Arnold from before the time it was on the fucking air. Wow. But I hated Hey Arnold. And seeing it on the air did not change matters. Do you continue to this day? I don't like Hey Arnold. Aw. They're, they are coming out with actually a new movie of it now, which is supposed to sort of like tie up all the loose ends of like, where are his parents? They were doing crazy Indiana Jones shit, I guess. So now it's, it's Hey Arnold, the jungle movie. Uh, yeah, actually, that's something Disney does. Uh, if you, apparently, if you go on Disney cruises and stuff, there's a good chance you'll get to see like an advanced screening of whatever next Disney movie coming out. Yeah, I just I, I really dug. Uh, Carowinds as a kid. Yeah. I, honestly, this is the first I've ever heard of it. Uh, it's a North Carolina thing. It's okay, right what kind of other, like, attractions did they have there? Oh, dude, it was huge. It was actually so large, it, it was uh, housed in two states. Really? They had one of the earliest uh, forms of... I don't want to say... Uh, VR? <laughs> something very, very similar. In the form of... they. Ha so, you've heard of the movie Days of Thunder? Uh, yeah. So they had a ride that started off as a Days of Thunder ride. Okay. Um, and it was... Uh, you went into what looked like a movie theater. Okay. And everyone sat on these chairs. That, uh, you know, in pairs of two, it looked like theater seating. Sure. So you get in, and next thing you know, the seats start moving in relation because it's a hard camera in the driver's seat of a race car okay and the seats start moving in the same way that the car Ooh, does so you oh. feel like you're driving the car it was augmented reality games. right that's uh what are they like there there's more of that now uh i think it's called 40. i did some of it uh the last time i was at disneyland or california adventures back god in like elementary school it's been a long time but i did like uh like a Bugs Life one that they had like that, where it was like this, like, oh, there's cockroaches, and then you just feel in the seats just like bugs crawling all over you, or it's like, oh, the, the, get them, bees, and there's this fucking bee stinger coming out of the back of your seat and stuff. Or they just like spray you with water and things. And there was also a Muppets one that was great. Hold on, let me see something real quick. Let's see how big it was, because now I'm curious. Yeah, sure. 